I'm stopping at, uh, I'm gonna, I want to go to Packwood, but first I want to stop at a food bank if it's open. It said the first and third Fridays every month, and this is the first. It's the first Friday of December, so I want to check it out. Just got to take, got to go down Silverbrook and then take a right onto Kindle Road. Sounds like a lot of rocks. I think I'm running over a lot of rocks. And I'm leaving Randall. Kind of going slow. Taking my time. I never walked down this road. I, I kind of wanted to, but it's raining anyway. <clears throat> so I'm not about to do it. I think I walked, yeah, I walked this far. Okay. I really, you know, it, it, it'd be interesting to to bicycle uh, on the left just all that back road to the north here there's a lot of windy back road it looks like it's all mountainous and, and stuff I'd be very interested in bicycling around that but it's raining today the library's closed I, I'd be stuck in my car better I don't have a, a great battery I'm thinking I'm gonna consider a, ba a car battery charger at the Walmarts in uh, Yakima, they're like thirty dollars. They're like they're they're pretty heavy, but I like weights. I like carrying around some good weights, <laughs> and a battery can give me a workout carrying around. If I need if I need to use that much, I'm not sure. In these, that's why I try to hit the small towns. I, and and uh, when, when I do, I get the privacy, but a lot of times I don't get the electricity. And if I could charge up a car battery, I could just sit out and play with it non-stop. I, I get burnt. I still I do get burnt out hanging out on the computer on my iPad a little too much playing. And I, I tend to, like, you know, 80% of the time I'm on the Internet, it seems, I'm playing Hearthstone these days. But, uh, man, I, I still I, I wear away at that battery so much. Know, playing it, playing it for hours and hours, and I'd really like to just have had that feel of unlimited time. Although, um, in the Timberland Regional Library, they close at midnight. They shut down the internet. <gasps> Slagle. Okay, I, I should see the high school first. Oh, is there? Okay, I gotta pay attention for cars behind me. I'm going slow. So, yeah. Um, Oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Just, just that I like playing the game, and um, yeah. Well, Timberland Regional Library has uh, hour, um, like curfew hours for their Wi-Fi uh, from 12 to 6. And I, I just, I keep coming back. I keep coming back to Timberland Regional Library for some reason. This next library, I'm not even sure if it's in Timberland. Find out in in, uh, in Packwood. Yeah, yeah. I looked yesterday or a couple days ago for food banks around Randall, and it gave me this address: First and Third Fridays, White Pass, the United Methodist. And I'm leaving kind of early. It's open at 10. I'm going to arrive around 9.20 um, as I turn on Kindle. It should be Kindle. And so uh, I'll see if it's o even even uh, open. If it's, if it's going to be open. I'll be early in line if it is. Or find out early that it's closed. And then head over to Packwood Library by 10 o'clock. Uh, okay, United Methodist. Right over here. There's a few cars for for this time. It's deeply, deeply suspicious. No, is that? Okay, okay. This could be it. They, they normally they normally put a sign out saying that they got it. It looks like people are shuffling things. So, yeah. Let's check it out. <clears throat> See if there's any food, kind of food that might be of interest. 
I don't think I'll even park in gear. I'll just let my car, yeah, I'll just let it rest. So that's it. Okay, so now I just I hung out at the, the food bank for a couple, maybe 30, 45 minutes or so. It's 10 o'clock, so almost an hour. Waited in line. Now I'm going to take this uh, back road. Okay, here I got a little. Okay, on the other side of this toilet paper roll, uh, I'm going to go to uh, take a left on on Main when I get into Packwood. I'm going to take a little this this little back road though, Silver Light, Silver Moon. I call it Silver Moon because. It's something else, but it's uh, Silver Moon is in World of Warcraft. Silver something. I'm gonna take this. It's kind of a back road, <clears throat> but I'll have I'll end up having to get on that highway for still a considerable distance. Packwood is it's not exactly close. I'm surprised people drove from Morton to get to here. That's a pretty good drive, but with the cost of gas at, at the way it is, it's it's worth it. There's some Silver Brook. It's still it's still pretty worth it to make that drive. Apparently the whoops, <laughs> I turned my air off. Uh, I just wanted to turn it down to one. Yeah, and I don't want to be rushed either. I think I can get away with just moping around on this back road at 20 miles, 25 miles. Until somebody comes up behind me. So this is the back road, silver light. Silver Fox, I think the Silverton, S Silverton, is it Silverton, Oregon? Ah, I forget. There's this Silver something, Silver something, Silver Fox, as I keep saying to myself when I was over there. I think it's Silverton. I was, oh my God, somebody actually lives in that house on the left. I was, I was taking my time. The window was boarded up. The roof is all moldy. Mount Adam Trail Riders Public Trail Ride Game Show. Alright. So it's a lot of trash. There's a graveyard. Some nice homes. They keep up with a good upkeep, but they're not held by any city regulation to make their home, their yards look nice. It's one advantage of living outside the city is you can leave your trash laying all over. But not in this mobile court. Mobile trailer park. Mobile court. It is kind of mobile, but not as mobile as sleeping in your car. And you got some ranches. Yeah, this food bank, I'll go through it. I didn't go through the food yet. Man, I should have, well, not in a hurry. Uh, when I get to the library, I want to go through that food. I threw it all in the back. That's a fair amount of food I, I accepted. Uh, didn't really, it seemed a lot a lot of healthy stuff. I got, I got quite a few bananas. Man, I got to throw away some old food from the last food bank I got. I grabbed peppers I never ate, and I intended to. They're in tom some tomatoes. They need to be tossed. Packwood should not be that large. It should not be that big of a library, but the parking lot looked kind of small. So it'll be a. <clears throat> might be tough to find a parking spot. Yeah, it's a neat little back road here. I don't have any cars sneaking up behind me. And it just uh, it just goes straight to the, the highway again, so I'm sure. There's a lot of rocks on the road. 
I'm sure a lot of people just decide not to take this road as a as a drive so much unless they're directly getting home it's a scenic route to me I didn't want to be rushed on that highway it's kind of a scenic route oh my god that mountain up ahead is tall it takes up the whole screen on this camera and I can see the top the top actually has snow on it it is that tall of a mountain Wow, it's it's like it's above freezing down below here, but up above there, I can actually see the individual trees on the top of that mountain. That's amazing. That that sucker is like straight up too. It must be solid rock, just holding it together. Amazing. Snow on the top. See, that's what I'm getting into here is I'm getting away from the rain. That's what I'm running away from. Get on the other side of the mountains, let the mountains block the rain. You know, if I was on the coast, it'd probably be drenched, drenched every day. But it's getting on the other side of these mountains now. And the winter is kind of nice. You know, I saw this uh, on the map, there's this Yakima... Yakima Inter Indian Res Reservation that takes up part of Yakima City. Is Yakima a part of the Yakima Reservation? I mean, my God, the the racial disparity is is uh, it's like 50% white people, 50% Hispanics. So I think that the Indian Reservation might be a part of Yakima, or Yakima might be a part of the Indian Reservation or something. They're calling themselves Hispanics, but maybe they're more... Did I need to turn there? This... I thought this road goes straight into... No, I... I'd be... Oh, man. I... I better refer to my map again. I'm... I might be lost. You know, I, I didn't... I guess I didn't pay that close of attention. But I could have sworn that this road just automatically turns into the highway eventually it's a good it goes a good distance <clears throat> but I'm a little concerned now <laughs> oh there's a highway <laughs> I just look off to my right alright so it will turn into the highway because the mountains really make the drive difficult there's only so many paths you can take so this would have been one of the popular pioneer trails. They found their way between the mountains the, and, take, and took the least climbing route possible. And you can see how windy the roads are around this, this area. Because they're, they're looking for the least, the path of least resistance through these mountains. It can, it can get pretty crazy sometimes you see like when the mountains when the roads go back and forth back and forth left you know right and left zig when the zigzags you know that it's, it's trying to climb a face of a mountain or just go around the mountains or what whatnot and this this seems like a pretty nice valley seems like it'd be a nice valley for for agriculture but slide area because of that mountain oh 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 my god you look up on the left and i can't i can't see the top exactly wow a lot has fallen down a mudslide could hit at any moment just wipe out the whole <laughs> that might be part of the reason why this area isn't so popular to live in is because of that a threat of a slide, a mudslide down the mountain or something. People could people could just get wiped out in a matter of seconds from the mountain. Yeah, living at the bottom of a mountain can be a little scary, but it's it's all rock. It's it crumbles more than it slides. The pieces roll more than they they dribble. Okay, and I got an opening. It's not that heavy of, heavily of a used road. I still got a long distance to go from here. 
from what I saw on the map. So now I'm more on the highway, what is it, like 55? I still haven't checked my brake fluid yet. See if the see if the speed cuts out at 55. I got some work going on. <clears throat> Road work ahead. I'm not sure of the speed yet. Wow, that's quite a mountain face there. All rock, hard rock. And I don't know if it's like cut by humans or if that's a natural face. I doubt it's a natural face of a rock. I think, I strongly suspect that it's just human, humans, yep, cutting out my speed. I'm low on brake fluid. I try to get up to 55 and I'm losing power. And this is, this is a familiar problem. It's saying, check your brake fluid. I don't, I don't get any indicators on my dashboard for it. It just, I, I feel it in the, the loss of power. And I don't know if that means I'm damaging the car. Wow, that mountain's awesome. Yeah, I almost wish I could take this camera out and just, maybe the next time I'll, I'll whip this camera out and, and face it to the left or something, or right even. Yeah, I can't, I'm a little scared to try 55. I'm at 52, 53. It happened, it's been happening when I hit 55 now, so. It's got to be a fluid issue. I, ha I think I have a little spare brake fluid in my car. <laughs> I can still use, and then I have to buy some more. And it's one of the most commonly sold items in a gas station, as the brake fluid, along with oil. Yeah, that's, that's something else. Yep, yeah, there's more of the mountain face. So oh, hitting a bridge. River Poncho. So yeah, at the food bank it was uh, mostly white people just making that comment uh, as an observation. Um, there was one Mexican lady. You know, I've been to some food banks where it's half Mexicans. It's, it's either a timing issue or it's a, a re strong reflection of the the, the, the racial uh, uh, like numbers in cities. I expect to see mostly, yeah, like like um, in, in uh, that one city, Burn, Burn, Woodburn, that was mostly, uh, that's a good size amount of, large population of Mexicans. It'll be a large population of Mexicans in Yakima, I'll find out what that's like. Just different people all over, people that stick around the cities and live with each other and stuff and get comfortable in their surroundings. It's like, well I kind of lost a little power there driving, I felt it, but I think it's because I hit a mud puddle or a water puddle. Some kind of a Cascades, Cascades Peak Resort Campground, so they got to charge money for that one. Oh, I thought somebody was approaching from behind, but they're gone now. So yeah, I'm just driving between these awesome mountains. They're cool to look at. They'd be even more fun to climb for the exercise. I got so tired after climbing that small mountain. I, I, I loved it. I love that feeling. And when I'm getting plenty of food, it's even more... Yeah, I feel the power cutting out just a little bit. I feel it even better. It feels awesome. It, to, I mean, it's not exactly the only kind of exercise. Well, I like the exercise, but I'd, I'd really like to be able to have places to do my suspension training, too. Um, <clears throat> Yakima has no mountains, so that's nothing to look forward to. Uh, the next two days in, in Packwood, the library will be open. And then Sunday and Monday, it's closed. Entering Fire District 10, okay. Um, you know, it's like Sunday and Monday, what would I do in Packwood? 
Well, I got a lot of food bank food. I can eat through that. Then it, for today, for not Friday and Saturday, so I'll have that going on. It depends on what pack what's going on in Packwood, but I'd, I'd be interested. A rest area, like a, a place I could sleep in in my car. That's usually what you see. That's usually what I've done at rest areas. So maybe I could sleep outside Packwood. Maybe even uh, cook. Use my my uh, my my propane heater. Cook some food even. Oh, got a car behind me. Semi truck. Those guys are always in a hurry. <clears throat> I think it's 55. He's welcome to pass me up. They're usually pretty impatient, though. It's a race for those bastards. All right. I, sh I mean, I was driving pretty slow, but I, I should be getting fairly close to Packwood. Okay, rest area. Where is it? Did I just miss it? I think that guy. Oh, no, there's a sign. Alright, the guy, the truck driver behind me is distracting me. I'll hit, I'm going to stay on 55 miles an hour, but, you know, that, that guy, he keeps his distance a little bit. He's a professional. Alright, I believe I could sleep at that rest area, but I suspect that it's a bit outside of Packwood and undesirable to sleep at. I'm not too interested in driving. It looks like, yeah, just looking down this road, Packwood looks like it's still off in the distance quite a ways. Man. I want to be close to the internet. Like, always, always want to be close to the internet. I love, love being near the internet. But, when I get away from the internet, that, that, that changes my mind frame. And... I turn my attention to books more so. You know, that that's, that truck driver would normally be, uh, if he was any other car, he'd be on my ass ready to ready to pass me, but this guy's keeping his distance. <laughs> oh, I felt like I lost a little power for a second. So we got some branches. I'm just not in a hurry, I'm sorry. I would be going 30, I'd go 35 miles an hour. I'd run out of video room, I'd run out of memory space, but I'd go super, I like going slow, I like taking my time. What the heck? Elk crossing for the next five miles? That's not deer crossing, that's, that's elk crossing. Those you don't want to run into. They will stand their ground, okay? They're not like frightened deer. They see a shadow, they're ready to fight it more than run. They're so big. Packwood. Okay, got a sign pointing the Packwood. Woo! There's mountains everywhere. I loved climbing that mountain. Whatever mountain it was, I'll call it Mount Travis. I I own that mountain, and I was so tired afterward. It's great. I just wanted. All I could think about when I was walking back to the library after climbing that was, I don't want to move an inch. For the next few hours. I don't want to move, I just want to sit and play on the internet. That's all I was thinking after climbing that mountain. And uh, I like that feeling. That's the best feeling in the world. It's worse. It's much better than, than feeling that lack of air, blood circulation from sitting too long. That, that, that feeling of laziness, like I really need to do something. I'd rather ha be in a state where I feel like I've I've exercised and I, I need the, the rest rather than I need the exercise that I've been sitting too long. Such a dis such a, a different mind frame you put yourself in between those two um, you know situations. To be in a state of of a rest uh, after exercising as opposed to resting and feeling like I really need to exercise. Climbing a mountain is very helpful. It's like walking flat ground is boring. It doesn't do much of anything. But climbing, the, walking up an incline, that makes it a, a different, a different type of um, movement. 
I, I feel stronger walking up hills than down hills. I like that feeling. And I don't I don't mind having to walk down a hill after walking up it. <clears throat> That's why like those treadmills are a little annoying. You know, you can put it in a constant incline and never a decline. It's kind of annoying to me because I don't I don't mind walking down after walking up. You never get that satisfaction of walking down on a on a treadmill. It's just you can put it at a a constant up angle and, and leave it at that the whole time. And then yeah, you, you when you're done you're walking on flat ground. But I, I you know I don't mind running up and down stairs. I don't need a treadmill stairs. Oh my god, where do I turn? And now I was assuming I would see a sign that says the library is off of this road. Okay, it's on Main Street. I remember that. <clears throat> Now, I'm pretty sure I have to slow down somewhere around here, right? I mean, I didn't see any signs once again, but I don't see any, I don't see any signs. I, it's better to err on the caution of going slower. It's better to err on the caution, on a caution of slowing down. 35, there we go. All right, where's Main Street? Now, is that the library? Huntington? We got Huntington, we got Milkwood Center, we got Riff, we got the fire department. I'm not sure where the library is in relation to the fire department. Alright, 35, I'm hitting 35. 259 for gas. I've been driving a lot too. Cowboy Coffee? Alright, Highway Shopper, Goat Rock Mountain. <laughs> I want to climb Goat Rock. Uh, there's people on the road working. Museum? I need that. I need to check that out. But the library first. Main Street, Main Street, Main Street on the left. And I need to take that left then. I I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's saying that you can't cross. Those people on the road aren't workers. They're flipping. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Alright, 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 alright. I think it's right here on the left. I think it's on the left here. There it is. Okay, it says Timberland Library. And this may not be the most ideal park spot for me. <gasps> what did I just hit? Okay. Oh, I got to park on the flat part. My car can't handle angles. Okay, yep, that's good. 